garden eggs are in season and there's no other time to enjoy garden egg sauce than now so i made this batch of garden egg sauce this method is very easy very straightforward i'm sure you'll be interested to learn these are the ingredients i'll be using for this sauce i'll be using some garden eggs some blended peppers and onion mixture some fish some palm oil and some fish stock that i have i'll start by prepping the garden eggs i have washed these garden eggs so i'll just start by cutting them into tinier bits in no particular order at all all i'm trying to do is to cut them into very tiny bits so i'll continue to do that until i finish with all the garden eggs so i would like to welcome you all here if this is your first time here i really appreciate your presence please don't leave without subscribing and to my returning subscribers thank you so much for the support always i really appreciate please don't forget to like don't forget to share don't forget to comment and of course subscribe if you are not thank you so much so i'll continue to chop the garden eggs until i am done Now that I am done chopping the garden eggs, it is time for me to start preparing the sauce. Now to a clean pan, I will add in some palm, some palm oil, I beg your pardon. I will add that in and allow it to heat up. Once the palm oil is well heated up, I'll add in the blended pepper and onion mixture and just stir that in and allow it to fry for about 5 to 7 minutes. I'll continue to stir it at intervals so it doesn't burn. And now that the pepper mixture is well fried, I went ahead and added in the chopped garden eggs. So I'll just mix that together until it is well combined. Once it is well combined, I'll cover and allow it cook for about 5 minutes until it wilts down. Now 5 minutes later, I'll come and stir again. Once everything is mixed up together, I'll now go ahead and add in the fish stock that I have. This is going to be the only liquid I will introduce to this sauce. Feel free to use water if that is what you have. That is, if you don't have any stock at home, you can always use water. I use the stock because I had the stock available at the time I made this sauce. So I'll just go ahead and mix that. I added in some smoked fish and I'll just mix all of that together. You can see the moisture has begun to come out of this sauce. Remember the garden egg um, will release its own moisture so you would want to be careful with the quantity of water you use here. I'll just continue to mix until everything is well combined.
Once everything is well combined, I'll taste for seasoning. And at this point, I was happy with the seasoning. So I'll just cover it and allow it to cook for about 7 more minutes. Now, 7 minutes later, this is what we have. You can see the quantity of liquid this has released. I cooked this on the lowest heat of my cooking stove. Yeah, I wanted it to cook slowly. So I'll just mix that together and then cover and allow it to cook some more for about two or three minutes or so. Then I'll come back, stir and this is almost ready you can see if you want your sauce a little bit um, light you can always add in some water but I love my sauce really thick because sometimes I use this to eat rice yes is anybody like me who eats um, garden egg sauce with rice <laughs> I know I do so if you are like me please leave it in the comment section let's know ourselves so I just went ahead tasted and I realized I needed to add in a little bit of salt so I added that I'll mix that and allow that cook for about a minute or two So two minutes later, I'll check on this and this is actually done. This is ready, ready to be served. I'll have this with some yams. Yeah, you can have it with some rice or potatoes if that is what you have. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sticking with me. Continue to eat healthy, stay safe and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, y'all.